Well, hello there. <laughs> hello there. How are y'all doing? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Retrothon 2023. My name is Weapon. I'll be taking you through one of the wonderful, 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 wonderful puzzle games for the Nintendo Entertainment System on this wonderful Wednesday. I hope you've been enjoying all the games today. I've been watching as many as I can get uh, behind watching. Uh, and uh, I tell you what, nothing but quality, nothing but incredible quality. So I'm going to bring you something less than quality, my, uh, my performance. However, uh, the game is not... Not uh, a terrible game. Uh, some of you may have heard of this game before. This is a little-known platformer. Not a no, platformer. Yeah. Sure. If it's a platformer, it's a much different game. Puzzle game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's an hour run. Not going to take any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I will tell you my PB in this game is around 55 minutes and some odd change. Yes, dog. Go ahead and chew on that the moment I start this wonderful... So this is Kiko Cubicle. Uh, you are a living snowman, essentially. And the entire world of, of fruits, veggies, and food have been turned into ice by the evil wizard. Uh, and you are, as the snowman, tasked to unfreeze things. Go figure. Uh, you're tasked to unfreeze all the things, and you do so with your frost breath and your uh, ice um, blockers. Uh, and you do so by freezing and shoving these poor little bots uh, across the water in their frozen state to create ice bridges. Uh, and you do so to collect either points with the, uh, the popsicles uh, and, uh, of course, to get to the next stage, the magic bags. That's right, you got three magic bags every stage. Uh, you must physically walk across the magic bags to collect them. However, point stuff, you can uh, run your ice blocks across to get extra points. And yes, the vegetables talk. Not many of them, thank goodness, but there's a few that talk. Uh, so the corn basically tells you that the world is frozen. You need to go save it. Uh, in doing so, you save the four princesses and all that fun stuff. Um, so we are going to go ahead and use this, because we're not going to end up using this too many times. So we'll use it. We're going to use our lovely little uh, P blocks for power, uh, which automatically freezes all the creatures on the screen. Uh, you're not going to get to see that too often, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that now. <laughs> Ma! The corn's talking again! Ma! It's a freaking ugly cat outside! Yeah, it's Kickle Cubicle. How do you want to say it? Uh, so, obviously, the world record for this is something like 46 minutes. It's insanity. Uh, I, of course, am not going to be going nearly that fast, but I do appreciate everybody hanging out for me and uh, uh, giving me your, your un unwavering support. I'll put that right there. That's fine. Uh, and uh, we're going to do what we can to uh, try to beat it as quickly as possible. Like I said, my personal best is somewhere around 55 minutes in change. And that's okay. Uh, an hour should be enough unless uh, one of the uh, bosses, yes, bosses for this puzzle game, uh, decides to be less than friendly, which is more than possible. Um, it's a few pretty nasty uh, puzzle stages here as well. So we'll get there. Also, say hello to the barking dog. That is Bear. That is my, my gigantic... Dog. <laughs> Lab Shepherd. He he give he a big boy. He make a lot of noise. And he usually chooses to make said noise when I'm busy with something. So um uh, so do pardon the dog. I, I do apologize for, for his his volume. He is a large dog, so volume comes alongside. Surprisingly, sometimes very small dogs have the volume as well, but this one has no control, like me. So it's appropriate. So here in this stage, we're introduced to a second enemy of the game. These are the uh, kicking Rodneys, or I don't know, I don't even know what they're they're, they're chickens who like to kick, kick your ice blocks out of the way. Uh, and he proves to be more than a few problems here and there. And he's just gonna push him out of the way, grab a magic bag, call it a day. Move along to the next stage. <laughs> if you're not busy with something, not petting the dog, the barking makes sense. Well, he likes to bark at absolutely anything that moves outside. Uh, also, shoutouts to uh, both the Raiders, Little Nari and 40 Watt Range. Thank you very much for the raids. Appreciate that very much. So I will go ahead and quickly pop the uh, pee bags here, pee, pee whatever's here. Uh, there is our next uh, enemy of note, uh, and that is the uh, uh, the <sighs> Tanukis. Yeah. I used to call these guys owls, but there are Tanukis. Uh, basically, they're our next enemy. And what they can do is they can get frozen, but as soon as you try to push them or break them, they unfreeze and kill you. 
So while it's good to freeze them, it is a bad idea to attempt to remove them from existence because they will do the same to you. Thank you. That did not help me whatsoever. That was not a good spot for that. I need two blocks that way and I need you all the way down. So if I can have somebody come down here, that'd be lovely. Well, I have screwed this up pretty badly, but that's okay. So you wouldn't mind coming down just a little bit further from me so I can use you. Yes, thank you very much. That is appreciated very much. So the goal of this game is, of course, like I said, to collect the three magic bags on every stage as quickly as possible using um, using the uh, the bots or whatever necessary to be able to create those bridges. Uh, I am currently using a video tube as the uh, little bouncing face there, so if you want to check that out, go for it. Uh, I had to kind of create the uh, image, not from scratch because I have zero artistical talent, uh, but uh, I do enjoy uh, being the black mage, and I have for a bit now. Uh, can I freeze him? Oh, man. Come here. Hey, right here. Can you? Oh, sure. Blip. And there we go. Yep, it's a magical little tool. Free as, uh, free as it can be, but support the, uh, the creator of it, if you can. So we are currently ripping through the garden land, uh, and in the garden land we have lots of nice veggies, um, tomatoes, veggies. We are not going to be eating the said veggies, because if we did, that would be, in this world, sense a bit of cannibalism. Uh, and I'm sure they would appreciate that you didn't do that. Uh, carrots, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, beets, all sorts of stuff. Not a particularly difficult game, but like any puzzle game, you're going to have a bunch of puzzles that are going to be kind of weird. Puzzles that might take you a little bit longer to figure out than you think. Uh, but generally speaking, the game's not too difficult. Go. I'm gonna push all these across. There we go. Excuse me, sirs and madams. I need one of your faces for the water, please. Thank you. Yep. So our goal, of course, is to try to get through this game with as few deaths as possible. But thankfully, for those who are interested in this game, uh, you get unlimited continues, and the only real downside is you lose points. Oh boy, points! Such a horrible thing to lose. But uh, yeah, you get unlimited continues, so you pretty much just continue from whatever stage you are, and there's really no no downside uh, to death, other than just restarting the stage over and over. Oh, he says as he nearly biffs it immediately. <laughs> By the way, those are the spinies. Those guys like to run around the edges. They are one hit kill. They don't they don't uh, they don't mess around. Uh, you cannot freeze them, but you can block them, which is good. We are also introduced to the next mechanic, which is fishing holes. That's right, we got these fishing holes here. Uh, you cannot freeze the fishing holes, but you can push these little uh, frozen bots across them, which is nice. And you uh, right there. Thank you very much. Now, you can certainly go faster. I, I play this extraordinarily casually, despite, you know, being able to beat it in under an hour. I play very casually. Uh, you can absolutely go much, 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 much faster by strategically placing blockers and then freezing and shoving the uh, the bots where you need them to go. You can certainly save a significant amount of time by doing that. But I'm I'm a uh, slow jogger, so you know, it's just it's what it is. Excuse me, bot. Can you go right there? Thank you. Oh, you know what? I didn't grab this. And uh, this is going to hurt if I don't block him. Oh, maybe not. Kick those cubes. Kicking. But yeah, this is along the lines of games like Adventures of Lolo, 1, 2, and 3. Of course, this one, Fire and Ice, which you just saw a few minutes ago. Uh, I was going to say for a moment, I was like, man, you have a thing for the ice games. You had the ice block there for a minute. Uh, then uh, Turtles 2 was in between, and it was like mostly an ice block. There was a, there was a snow stage. It counts. Let's get these against the wall. And get these up the top. One, two. All right, so I'm going to need you right here, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I need you right here, please. Thank you very much. And uh, you can come over here, too. Thank you very much. Blip. Didn't need to do that. Could have pushed this. 
And, and this guy is another character who can be free, frozen and broken. He just wanders around. He didn't do anything. Also, thank you for the raid. Uh, Kumakai, appreciate that very much. And we are nearly done with the first world of four. Now, there are four only four worlds in this game, so it's not a particularly long game. There is, well, I mean, it's an hour. Uh, but there is also a super secret special world stage if you decide you didn't get enough punishment from playing through the game's uh, first four worlds. Uh, there is an additional uh, secret world. Eventually, I want to add that into my, uh, I guess you would say, repertoire for as far as... Um, playing through this game so I can basically get a complete 100% on the game. I'll put that right there, thank you. Uh, but I don't do them because they're wildly more difficult. Uh, but again, like any good puzzle game, once you don't know the solutions... Oh, no you don't! <laughs> Sucker. But yeah, I want to say this, uh, if it hasn't been said already a hundred thousand times, thank you to everyone who's hanging out with us in chat, has been watching us all week. Uh, it's been a blast to to watch, restream, stream, play games, all sorts of stuff. Now, I don't have that many games in the, in the marathon, but I do appreciate hanging out for the one or two that I am able to do. Uh, so again, we want to say very much appreciate everybody who's been here for whatever whatever length of time or, or length of effort that you've been here for. Uh, again, from the RGL staff, 100% thank you very much. And, uh, we ain't done. We ain't even close to being done. So strap in. We're, we're, uh, we're going to get there. Uh, but yeah, super huge thanks to everyone who's, who's participated, either in chat from watching, chit-chatting, uh, and of course streamers and racers, uh, the, the runners themselves. So I want to do add this now as well as a PSA. There are going to be to the boss levels flashing, lots of flashing. So if you have sensitivity war uh, sensitivity issues with flashing lights, between every to every boss pretty much is going to be a sensitivity warning. So this is your warning uh, now, because there's a few of these that are incredibly egregious on the flashing. Uh, this one's not too bad. Uh, but once you get to the third boss, it's probably one of the worst bits of flashing I have ever seen in a video game. Um, it's not consistent for more than a couple seconds, but it's pretty bad. But we're going to go off to our first world boss, and I'm hoping my cursor's not been there the entire time. Nope, it looks like it hasn't been good. I was I was helping along with the cursors fighting uh, fighting Krang there. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> I was helping. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, first boss. The first boss is Coke. It is a bird that we were fighting earlier. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. So if you go too far towards the top of the screen. Uh, they they will charge down, but as you can see, he's, he's pretty easy. So it's a much different mechanic to the rest of the game, where he'll, the, the bosses will throw an object at you that will break, and you use those objects to kill the boss. That is probably about the fastest I've ever beaten that boss, by the way. <laughs> BB Pace, let's go! <laughs> well, the cursor that was on the uh, the timer was, was not me, but the cursor in the middle of the, ga the game screen, yeah, that one was me. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here we go. We only need one of these bots, but we're gonna go ahead and freeze both of them as soon as we're ready for it. One, uh, we're gonna freeze both of them when we're ready for it. Excuse me. All right, we're gonna sneak in here carefully. There we go. And now we're in fruit land, by the way, if you didn't catch that. So this world is a world of fruits. Although tomato is technically a fruit, so they popped up in the wrong world. However, Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, french fries, and cheesecake. They're all the same thing, right? So here's our next enemy of note. The bombs! We actually did see him earlier, uh, but thankfully we didn't have to deal with him too too long. I'm just going to put that right there, right there, so I don't have to deal with either of you. I'm going to take that. Uh, <laughs> go, Kickle, go! For a great victory! So, there aren't too many actual items in the game. Uh, there are the popsicles, which are points. The magic bags, okay, uh, which you've seen already. 
Um, and the P switches, if you will, which freeze everything on screen, which doesn't freeze the spinies, but it can freeze everything else. Here's our mini clowns, by the way. Um, there is one either item that may pop up if we're if we're good enough. Uh, and uh, Bork Bork, I do apologize for Bork Bork. Um, uh, and that is the magic ring. Now, ideally in the one, you should never see the magic ring, but it may happen. But what the magic ring does, it's a special object that allows you to cover the screen and points essentially. And then you could use that to beat the stage. I don't think there's ever a case where that's faster. So it's usually best to just try to not collect those unless you're in trouble, in which case, if it does pop up, you're in trouble, grab it, get the points, call it a day. But uh, we probably won't see any, but that depends on how good I play and how many points we collect in the course of the game. We're gonna be very careful. We have the turrets. The turrets will shoot t rotten tomatoes at us. And if they hit us, we die, of course. No rotten tomatoes today. He is a good boy. He's actually a very, very good boy. He's just very loud sometimes. He doesn't usually bark needlessly, but sometimes, sometimes he, he is dog. All right, so we're gonna use the P buttons again just because I feel like it. I'm gonna bop and springs. We don't really need that. I need you guys right here, please, if you would. If you would. Thank you. And thank you. So the springs do play a crucial role through most of the rest of the game. Most of the stages will feature those springs, and you do have to use those to fill up gaps and such. <laughs> if we kick in, then we know we got weapon. Well, I I appreciate that. I'm, I'm one of the few people that do run the game. I'm not the only person for sure. Uh, there's a good handful of people who do run the game uh, and uh, who have significantly better times than I do. Uh, I play it because I enjoy it. I grew up with it. It was one of my childhood favorites. Uh, despite being a puzzle game, which is not normally what you would think be a young kid's favorite game, uh, it's high on my list. I do have my copy sitting over here and somewhere. <laughs> somewhere nearby. <laughs> so you can see we have a grenade for uh, the shape of pumpkin la or fruit land. Yes, I know it's a pineapple, but I want to say it's a grenade because this game is brutal. That is themed, by the way. I'm calling this one a grenade on purpose because you'll see later on on Toyland, it's also something very much that should have been censored. How dare they, in my game, grenades, freaking other things. How dare they. Talking horns, let's go. <laughs> a puzzle game could get a kid's favorite. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's an, maybe an unusual one for, for somebody who was as hyperactive as I was, I should say. <laughs> hyperactive as I still am, I guess. I guess not. Oh, no, you didn't. Sir, sir, I, I do declare you are uh, messing with my style. So you can also crush the bots if you decide that you don't need them. Uh, they will not continue to spawn if uh, there's enough of them on the screen. They will not continue spawning. Uh, so you can use that to your advantage for safety, but uh, some puzzles require or only give you a certain amount of them on the screen at once. So you are, you've got to use your resources wisely. But as soon as you make your bridge, uh, they will respawn. So here's a, another level of a good, quick, quick, fast reaction. We're going to try to do this with only having to pop one of these bots. And we are not going to grab the one up here because it's completely unnecessary. We are going to try to grab that quick. There we go. Good grab. And there's some melons. I do enjoy a good watermelon. It's almost that time of the year. Almost. All right, so the hammer is also another mechanic that might give some people some problems because uh, the hammer is a, a unique treasure, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and use that. So the easiest way to look at the hammers is they spin around and knock a block in a certain direction. If you want to know how the hammers are actually doing their job, they fire whatever block or thing that hits them in the direction they're pointing. So if the hammer's pointing to the right, it's going to actually slap that the thing that hits it on the bottom or top to the right. 
So that helps out with a little bit of the logistics of understanding how that works. Uh, there's going to be a couple levels that are exclusively hammers. So the sooner you understand, or able to understand how the uh, the hammer mechanic works, the better, the better you're going to be, because you're going to end up using it a lot. Especially in the uh, special stages. Which again, we're not doing today, we're just doing the main games. The main, uh, main four worlds. Which is considered any percent. 100% I would be all four worlds plus secret worlds. Like I said, maybe one day we'll, I'll, uh, I'll add that to my list. I'm happy enough with the four worlds. So we got two hammers here, and we can see that there's one hammer pointing up to the magic bags. We need this one pointing towards the, those magic bags. Excuse me, friend does. Can I borrow one of you? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And you are done. So again, I hope everybody has had a fantastic Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed all the NES games that have been provided today. There's still plenty more to go. I mean, we're not we're not even close to done yet. But uh, I just want to say again, super sh big shout outs to everyone who's been participating today and uh, who has provided content or will be providing content uh, before too long. Uh, the day ain't over yet. Excuse me, excuse me, what are you doing? Ex freaking excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> Those don't do that. <laughs> he just started going across the middle of the screen. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I need to grab that bag, please. Thank you. <laughs> no, weird things can happen when they collide with other blocks or the other uh, spinners. They can, they could do things like go right across the middle of the screen. <laughs> excuse me. I do not approve of this. All right, I need you. Thank you. you. Go ahead and do your thing. I'm not going to get blown up here. And let's do this. And this. Oh, yeah. Still quite a few more hours left. Let's see. What, what's up next? We got uh, Mike's Ty Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Oh, my goodness. Are we all... We all very much enjoy that game. Not just the game itself, but the person who is presenting it. So, super shout-outs to them. We'll, we'll get to see them here in just a few moments. Oh, I nearly biffed it. So, one of the things in this game to be very mindful of is this game has an interesting mechanic when it comes to... Um, very interesting mechanic when it comes to movement. Uh, because it's very easy to tap and turn or not hold the button long enough to move into that direction. So what you can do is if you just want to turn a direction without moving a direction, you can just tap the button and Kickle will start going that way, but will spring back into the same spot he's in. So you can use that for certain certain um, uh, quick, easy spins to try to get something done or quick get something done. The problem is, is what happens occasionally is when you're trying to do a particular movement and Kickle decides, nah, I'm not following through on that, and then you just end up getting killed because you stand in spot way too long. So it's one of the mechanics that is both very helpful and very hurtful, depending on the occasion. Um, otherwise, there's not really a whole lot of unique mechanics to the game. Uh, most of the mechanics are in the, the, the devices on the stage themselves. The spawners, the hammers, the enemies themselves. Um, Kickle can spit, can block her, and he can uh, dance in place to a degree. That's, that's his job. So this is one of the uh, longer stages of the game. Uh, it tends to be a rather bit of an annoyance on more occasions than not. Uh, if you lose or die at any point later in this, it's just it's trouble to have to go all the way sticking back to fix it. I'm going to put that there because I don't want to have to deal with you. Okay, I need you to go to the left. There you go. There you go. Hey, can you step down? Thank you. And one more. And one there, one there. And maybe we can get lucky, have that bot on the other side. Yes, there he is. And there we go. And there we go. And that's how we do it. I just need to stay awake that much longer and be set. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. I ain't getting any younger. 
Thank you! The sunken palace is reappearing! Is it safe? Probably not. Okay, just for warning, I don't remember how flashy this one is, but this flashing warning. A little bit of a flashing sparkly warning. Little bit. If you have sensitivity issues, look away now. And... Okay, this one's not too bad, but there you go. We got bubbles! <laughs> Get moving, Kickle. Get moving, Kickle. <laughs> okay, our next box is Piero the Clown. Now, his is a little bit different than the first one. We have to have the ball bounce into a wall, break, and then we can use it. Now we're gonna have to have it go somewhere else, anywhere else is fine. And he's probably gonna jump. And he's gonna scoot back to the left. We have a Tachi right down there. And he's gonna break that, which is unfortunate. You can go over there for me, please. That'd be sweet. You going over here? You wanna jump at me? You wanna jump at me, bro? There we go. Thank you. Gosh darn it. Come on, controller! This is not the time to be playing that game. There we go. So the bosses take progressively more hits. Three hits, four hits, five hits. Uh, but there we go. That's World 2. That was not the best World 2, but that was fine. And we have Princess Lutea. Thank you very much. <laughs> Off to the next world, which is my favorite by far. Cake Land! where almost everything you get out of the area is not really cake. <laughs> so, we have a, uh, we had a grenade for the second world. We have a trident for the uh, third world. Uh, if you can guess what the fourth world's gonna be, um, you probably have guessed better than I have. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen, can I borrow one of you, please? Uh, you, that'll work fine. Thank you. Yes, it was a pumpkin, yes, or, or pineapple, and yes, it's a fork, but come on. Grenade, trident. It's a very brutal game. It really, truly is. Kiko is murdering all these ice folk. Actually, this is a very dangerous level here. All right, so behold, probably one of the more nasty levels of the game. We're going to freeze these guys. Nope. And we're going to see the spiny go through. Pop. Go. Go. And wait, let that go guy back through. Whoop. He's going on the other side. All right, we're good. So now you're seeing the ultimate form of the spinies. Those guys are actually going to be probably the most dangerous enemy in the game. Of course, this is a man on fire. I killed a guy with a trident. I sunk an island shaped like a trident. Does that count? Or am in the process of. Uh, and we have one of our last enemies of the game that you're going to see. These are the Shieldmen. Uh, again, I don't remember the name of these guys, so just bear with me. Uh, you cannot shoot these guys straight on uh, because they will reflect your shot uh, and can freeze you. So they're dangerous to, to approach directly. And they can dar dart at you if you stay in front of them too long. There is at least one more enemy. Uh, we'll see him much, much, much later. But... The shield guys are going to be our next theme of pain, if you will. All right. Now we're racing against time. And how are we racing against time, you ask? Well, you see the little ice block in the top right side of the screen. We have to get this block to bridge, and we have to refreeze that block before it thaws out. And yes... All those lovely ice blocks that you can create, uh, like you see on the screen there, will eventually thaw. Uh, and if that thaws, we're not going to be able to get that last uh, bag without some trouble. But as you can see, we finished it before I could explain it. All right, again, another stage where we only technically need like two of these guys, but there's a bajillion and we're just going to smush them all. Put that right there. Can I have you, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is the one and probably only... Oh, 
I almost forgot that comes back. Uh, one and only one up I grabbed just because there's like an extra half a second to grab. So <laughs> that, that almost ended poorly. Yeah, we all know about the gun land. Yeah, yeah, the last one is a gun. Candy! Our world's trapped inside of a crystal ball. This is where the, this boss is the one where the flashing happens. And I'll let you know before, when, right before that happens, if you need to look away, because this this is the one that's, that's atrocious. Uh, say hello to Kames, uh, Kame Turtles. Uh, they're kind of nasty because they like to spin. Uh, and they spin and you cannot hit them. Oh, and they will mow you down. And I, You see how I got locked on, the, on place? I was hitting the buttons too fast. I couldn't get out of it. So that's exactly what can happen if you uh, if you don't have a full directional movement. You can get trapped on a block, and uh, there's just nothing you can do about it. Just because I didn't hold the button through far enough. So hey, we used that one up already. It's amazing. It's the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, well, they're not very secretive about their, their arts here. Technically, neither were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but whatever. All right, time to play a little uh, runaway. So we're gonna bop this. We're gonna bring this uh, bot down here. We're gonna slam him into the other uh, thing and run. Quickly, carefully, quickly, quickly go. And go. And there we go. I'm gonna stop him up. Well, I was gonna try to, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna try to stop him up there multiple times. <laughs> he wasn't having it. Uh, that might be a donut. I think we had a baguette at some point there. All right, here's the hammer puzzle. This one's always fun. So the guy up here, the, the Kame turtle here that is popping around here who is an annoyance, uh, will be part of this particular map here for a bit. So we have to do our best to kind of just work around him. And we want this to go down. So we can keep freezing him and breaking him, but if we do, he's just gonna end up popping up um, out of the same, uh, spawner, if you will. Oop, gotta refreeze that. He's gonna keep popping up out of the same respawner, so we're just gonna let him do his thing. There we go. Ice cream! But yeah, I really, I really enjoyed playing this game as a kid. I may not have been particularly good at it then, but I've definitely improved since then. Uh, this is just one of those games I keep on the back burner as, as a, uh, I don't speedrun particularly well, but then again, you don't have to be particularly quick at this one to be, uh, to have fun. Whoops, thank you. And we're going to go ahead and, oops, I did not do that right. I didn't hit the button. There you go. All right, and the Spiny's gonna come out and say hello and kill nearly all of these bots. All right, put that back on the spring, come up here and push this downwards. And carefully have a step in here. We got waffles. Speaking of waffles, do enjoy me a good, delicious buttermilk waffle. Oh, delicious. All right, more hammers. All right, so we need that to go, uh, let's see. Like that, I believe. And do your thing. Let's get out of your way. Thank you very much. Done. And donuts. Uh, not sponsored by Andonuts from uh, Earthbound. Also a fun game. Check it out. PK Scramble was an awesome event. Thank you very much for playing that, ladies. On a Rando Monday. That wasn't technically Rando Monday, but counted. Very much so. All right. Here's where we like to just run. Let's run. All right. Beautiful. So that one, I made that look a lot easier than it was, but that one's actually really tough. You are on a timer on that stage. If you do not get to the end by the time that block unfreezes, then you cannot finish it. That spiny will just murder you. You can't block it. You can't do anything about it. All right, more hammers. And this is where using uh, your knowledge of a hammer uh, comes into play. So knowing that the hammer, blip, blip, there's one. So we're gonna come back over on this side, reset this hammer. And we're gonna have to deal with this guy because he's just gonna be in the way. I need you to stay right there for me, thank you. And blip. And wait for it, and blip. There we go. Easy peasy every time. Yes! 
Yes. Unlike, well, I mean, unlike in a particular Marvel game, you do not, uh, let, well, I actually should say like in a certain Marble game, you do not want to take a hammer to the face. Uh, by the way, if you get the hammer spun into you by chance in this game, uh, you can and will die. Uh, so in the case, excuse me, that's not how that works, game. I mean, yeah, that is exactly how that works, but... So I went the wrong way. I need to go up and around. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. No! Okay, so for a, a uh, cake land, you can clearly see a burger. Uh, while I disagree entirely that a burger is in cake land, I do not disagree at all that a burger is in cake land because I will still heckin' eat it. All right, so here's another fun uh, try to heck and figure out where the heck you're supposed to go. And that's going to get tossed across, which is fine. Pop that there. I'm going to deal with you because you're going to be annoying. Come over here. Need that this way. And I'm going to go all the way over here because he's going to do something very magical for me. He's going to paint me the bridge. Thank you very much. Another eclair for the audience. You know, all of this uh, food's making me quite hungry. Uh, I would love to have a donut or a burger or a waffle. I could kill me some 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 munchies right now. All right, here we go. Here's another fun stage with a uh, another fun uh, mechanic: uh, springs and a cannon. By the way, the uh, the cannon can, in fact, cannon can, in fact, um, well, the ice block can kill you if it slams into your face, but the cannon can, in fact, blow up your ice block as it's flying around. Uh, so it's best to try to deal with him as, as swiftly as possible. Unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to get through this game unscathed. I was hoping that I was going to get a deathless run here, but or a game overless run. But again, like I said earlier, there's no real particular downside to game overing. You just lose points. Um, and if you were kind of looking for those, uh, uh, the the ring, um, uh, you probably would need to see a relatively deathless run to be able to to catch it. All right. Um, I don't need. I need that. <laughs> Excuse you. Okay. So I, I, this is uh, a doozy, but it's not too bad. Come on, stop it. All right. Finally, the cake and cake land. The cannon can, in fact, kill you and your ice block. So we finally get the cake. Seizure warning, flashing light warning. If you have any issues with seizure warnings, you need to look away now because this is where it's going to happen. Like I said, one of the most egregious flashings in any video game that I have ever seen. And I get to watch it three times over. <laughs> Just how I have my screen set up. So I will tell you when you can look back if you, have any issue, if you do have an issue. So please look away now if you have any issues with flashing lights. Otherwise, here you go. Oh, it's gross. It's a neat effect, but gross. Okay, you can look back now. And we have Big Kahan. Big Kame, Big Turtle, Kapan. So this one we want to kind of stay like sort of over here. Because you can toss it, it breaks here. Uh, and he's just gonna slide around. Good. Oh, come on. Ah! Yeah, it's one of the most egre it's one of the most egregious uses of flashing lights I've ever seen. So unfortunately we did take a game over here. But one note here for the bosses, if you're too close to the top when they throw their thing, uh, they will actually spin or jump at you. Uh, if you're far enough back, they tend to leave you alone, but it's never a guarantee. 
Oh, oh. But usually after the second or third throw, they'll, uh, uh, they'll come at you. But there you go. That's Kapan. That's the third boss. One more world, one more boss. And we have the Cake Princess. Princess Batakwap, no. Princess Crema. So we have uh, Bumpa, Lutea, and Crema as princesses. We have one more princess to release from the Toyland. Also the king. I guess we should rescue the king while we're at it. By the way, there you go. Toyland, literally a gun. We had grenades. We had guns. All right. Hardest room, ha hardest room in the game. Hold on. Quiet time. That one is just death. That room is just a, a whole bunch of death. Literally one of the hardest rooms in the game, right there. I made it look easy, but that is quite literally the hardest room in the game. Maybe maybe a secret world might be harder, but that one's atrocious. And here's our final uh, side enemy. The other snowmen that really don't approve of you knocking out their boss's world. Uh, hit the world of frost that he's built. But not a particular... Oh, get both of them. There we go. Not a particular problem behind ice walls, but there it is. The other snowmen who don't appreciate your shenanigans. But we likes it cold. Well, nobody else does. Deal with it. And by the way, Toy World, that was a Christmas tree. Technically speaking, Toy World is Christmas land. They don't call it Christmas land because it doesn't fit on the screen. But technically, this is Christmas land. Uh, I'm going this way. And I'm going to go right here. Watch as the giant flying spike comes up my... I'm just joking. I'm fine. There we go. So welcome to Christmas land full of cars, toys, candy canes, stockings, and other Santa Christmas items. Uh, this world, this particular world was a car. And here we have Cannon, uh, cannon Land, which is actually pretty difficult. Uh, so you got to be very care careful about uh, your uh, use of... The Oop, I'm going to do that. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. And there's the Nutcrackers, or the, the Toy Soldiers. Excuse me. Next. Sauce? What is sauce? Can somebody tell me what sauce is? Um, let's see. We're going to go do this. We're going to let him go through and stop him right there. Thank you very much. And we're going to let him come back. Say thank you for your service. And come back here and let him go. We're going to say... This is a very, very, very safe way of playing this, by the way. Um, yeah, we actually need you to come through. <laughs> and the Santa hats, because... Question, is Canon Land actually part of the Kickle story? Uh, Canon can be part of the Kickle story, but uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, Canon. <laughs> uh, I'm funny. <laughs> canon can be Canon. All right, so this is one of the more tough uh, timing worlds. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's another one that's pretty tough. It's a very, 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 very tight timing to stop the, uh, the brick from hitting you in your face. <laughs> and stockings! Oh, by the way, these talk. Okay, who left the stock out long enough that it grew a voice? Gross! <laughs> Wash your socks more. Good lord. I'm sorry. That was gross. I apologize. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, bop this first guy here. Man, I need to freeze that Tanuki. He's going to be a problem. There we go. And we've got the Raggedy Andal. 
Most of you, well, if you're on this channel, you probably remember Raggedy Ann, but most of you will probably not know what Raggedy Ann is. <laughs> Some of you will. But those are legally distinct Raggedy Ann's. Okay, this one I keep forgetting how to do, so give me just a second. All right, let's go ahead and uh, say goodbye. Go. Okay, so this might be kind of bad. Uh, I might have to race it. Ugh! Got it. Because <laughs> the timing on that's also kind of bad. If you uh, put that bridge there as that spike's coming back, you're just in trouble. All right, nine more levels and the final boss. We're almost there. So this is probably the other super long level of the game, and it's pretty trolly because it does have those ice guys who, as I said before, uh, they don't play nicely. Okay. Okay, that, this guy's coming to play here. I don't, I'd rather he didn't. Uh, this guy's coming to play too. Hold on. There we go. And I'm gonna wait for this guy to spawn first. And there. Because I really don't want to mess with him. <laughs> Rather safe than sorry. There's no lava here in Iceland. Are you giving me lava chant? Let's see the lava in chat, please. Come on, let's let's warm it up in here. Post your favorite lava uh, lava emote. <laughs> So this one we could get kind of lucky if the uh, the spikes decide to play nicely, which they usually don't. Sometimes if the, uh, the, the uh, those are playing nicely, they'll push those bags up here so we don't have to play with them. Come on, give me the other one. Can you give me the other one? I know you can do it. Okay, fine. Let me open up the gate for you, a second. for you guys. Thank you. Bye. Christmas trees. Sometimes they'll actually just shove those uh, magic bags up where you can grab them without ever having to walk into that corner. It's super lucky if they do, because it's kind of random where they push them. All right, time for a little bit more of the pee action. Let's go. Push! And thank you. That's one. And we are going to have to deal with these chickens pretty dang. I was not paying attention. There we go. There's a nice, warm, comfy uh, emote right down there. Alright, real quick. Let's do this again. Let's not pay attention where the chickens are at. Actually. Oops, hi. Almost forgot already. I've got to collect things, not just uh, freeze things. Goodness. I think I'd never played this before. More Santa hats, by the way. Santa needed more than one hat, so he made, like, a, a couple thousand, but, you know, details. All right! Now we get to race the Spinies. I keep calling them Spinies. They might not actually be called Spinies, but that's what... Or I could just slam my face right into them. I guess that works, too. <laughs> they appreciate it, but let's work for them. <laughs> let's go recover a single one up here, shall we? Oh no, oh no, he's gonna, okay. By the way, eggplant monster, totally a toy. Totally a toy in toy world, but not a vegetable in vegetable world. And here we get to play with our snowmen again, uh, because snowmen are, uh, are fun. All right, you come up here for a second. Go ahead and do this. That's gonna crush one of them. There we go. There we go. And easy. Oh, you're gonna do that, aren't you? He walked right after and like you sneaky little snow monkey. How dare you? How dare you? 
All right, four more levels. Let's go. Not looking super bad for a PB. Which way are you going? Down? Oh, bad. Well, not looking good now. Need to not freeze the chickens. They kind of need them not frozen. Hey, go punch him, would you? So this stage, you have to constantly move around the edge uh, because you're constantly being chased by the, uh, the spine there. It's slow, thank goodness, but you do have to uh, race it a little bit. And we technically only need enough to make one bridge into the center, but because we're constantly racing the spine, we gotta be uh, observant. And they really don't wanna hit that guy. They, they really don't want to... Well, there's going to be a bridge now. I can come back here. Thank you. <laughs> so that's what I said earlier. Sometimes you can get lucky and the enemies will actually bump the magic bags towards you. Uh, or across a platform so you don't have to worry about actually going to collect it and just push it over to you. Alright, here's a fun one. Watch these guys explode. And I... I have no idea what happened on my controller there, but it wasn't uh, what I needed it to do. <laughs> mm. So I need to run down and out of these guys' way as soon as possible. Okay. So we pop this guy into the, into the blocks, pop that into it while there's things moving. And then we have our, uh, our bridge. Did you catch that? Y'all understood that? Good. I'm gonna try not to show it again. Raggedy Ann, round two. Two more levels and a boss. We might, we might see a PB today. Another, another marathon PB, I think would be a lovely thing to have happen. Marathon PB incoming, question mark. Will this be on the test? Absolutely. One more level and considerably second hardest level of the game. Only, not by movement, but by logic. Alright, so we're going to do this super quick here. Um... And one of these has to move during. All right, and we're through. Just gotta wait for this to do its thing. Let's get out of the way! All right, battle boss! And say hello to the Legos. Hi, Legos. Okay, so if I have a good boss, we can actually PB on this. Uh, this might flash a little bit, just for warning. It's not too bad, but it might flash a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's gonna flash. Flashing light warning. Well, the rain is kind of flashy lights. Close enough. Like I said, not not nearly as bad as the, uh, the World 3 boss, for sure. Rainbow! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rainbows! What does it mean? It means we're going on to fight the final boss. So my PB was like a 55-30 or so. So if I could beat this boss quickly, we might be able to beat that by maybe 30 seconds to a minute. But I have to do it on the first try, otherwise it's not happening. Either way, we're going to be underestimated, so that's good. All right, here we go. And behold, the Wizard King! It's just some dude with a bucket. He's got a bucket on his head. All right, so his pattern is he throws an ice ball that you, a ball that you have to freeze, then shove into him. And then I go right back to the left side-ish, freeze it, and shove it back into him. Run away from him. All right, here we go, that's two. Kinda stay on the left side-ish, freeze. Oh, no! All right, we're not going to get it there. All right, so we got to be careful. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! I knew that was gonna. Oh no, there's a game over there too! Oh, oh. Well, we got a minute and a half, so let's do this. <laughs> How dare you come up here again? I missed the uh, the freeze. That's what happened there. There we go. And you could just you don't have to go too far early on. Uh, he doesn't move too quickly, but the last two or three hits, you kind of have to move a little bit. And don't touch him because that will instantly kill you too. So how dare you make fun of my bucket? All right, we got about one or two more hits. It's going to be really close for a PB if it is. One more, and he will catch me this time if I'm not careful. Oh, that's it. And time. Yes! That's about a 30-second PB. Yes. Now, world record is like 43 minutes, 45 minutes. It's, it's like 10 minutes faster, but... Marathon PB. There we go. All right. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you again very much. I appreciate everybody hanging out with us on Wednesday at Retrothon 2023. There's Princess Mira. We did it good. We got to go see the king, say hello, tell him uh, he's not frozen anymore. Uh, but again, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you being with us. And stay tuned. There is plenty more fun times left to be had. Uh, it does not end with Kickle Cubicle. It only gets spicier. Because up next, we have one of the spiciest Nintendo games of all time, run by one of the spiciest streamers and runners uh, and members uh, of RGL of all time. Stay tuned. It ain't gonna get any, it ain't, it's gonna just get better. It's just gonna get a lot better.